guys, today I'm going to be doing my April favorites and it is the end of the month so I thought it was the perfect time to do this. So I decided I want to start doing monthly favorites again because I don't know, I just feel like they're really, really helpful for people and I love watching monthly favorites but usually I just do maybe like a current favorites every three months or so but I thought it'd be a really good idea to start maybe getting myself back into the monthly favorites deal. I hope you guys have been enjoying the frequent upload. I've decided I'm going to be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m my time and I live on the west coast so I, I don't know where you guys are or anything but it'll be eight o'clock my time in the morning and I just think that works out a lot better for me so um, I'm just gonna jump right in enough of me rambling so my first monthly favorite is my Anastasia contour palette I am obsessed with this palette like if you don't have this palette you need to get your hands on it ASAP. It is the most amazing palette I've ever owned and I talked about this in my haul video which I filmed a few weeks ago but from that time that I got it I have been absolutely loving it. It has three contour shades and three highlighting shades and they are perfect. You can match whatever highlight shade or contour shade to your face and they are so perfect. I use it almost every day. I highlight with a banana shade and I contour with two other different shades. So I've definitely been loving this. I have been absolutely obsessed with my Urban Decay Electric Palette. If you are skeptical about getting this palette, don't be. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to play around with it, but in the end, I found out that I'm in love with it and I want to use it every single day of my life. The pigmentation in these colors are amazing. They're perfect and all the colors are beautiful. I'm obsessed with every single one of them and you could do so many different looks with these because they're so pigmented. Um, I also heard that you can actually use these for hair chop too, which is pretty awesome as well. So yes, I've been loving the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Two shadows from MAC that I've been loving and the first one is Brown Script. I absolutely love this eyeshadow. It goes perfect with literally everything. You can do so many different types of looks with it and I just think it's the perfect like brownish red shade and it's absolutely beautiful. So I have been obsessed with this and then a new shadow that I actually just got is MAC's Shroom. Heaven in a little tin like it is so beautiful as a brow bone highlight and you could even use it as a like highlight above your cheekbones. It is so beautiful and I don't even know why it took me so long to get this. I used it in my current tutorial and you guys can see how that looks. I will have it linked down below but if you do not have this brow bone highlight you need it in your life. The next beauty product that I've been loving is this Cover FX Mattifying Primer and I got this in my Ipsy bag and I've been using it ever since because for me I don't have oily skin at all but I do love matte like face stuff and everything. This is a really really nice face primer. It does have a sticky gel feel to it. Every time I put it on my fingers and stuff I really hate the way it feels but after I get into my skin and press it into my skin, I love the effect. It makes my foundation go on so smooth and I have definitely been loving this. The next thing that I've been super, super loving is my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I got this at the beginning of April and I've been using it ever since. If you guys watch my videos and have been watching my videos, you guys will know that the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation is my go-to foundation just because I love the finish of it and I just love matteness on the face. But I have been absolutely loving this high definition foundation. I always hear people rave about it and how good it is and I see that a lot of makeup artists keep it in their kit. So I wanted to try it out for myself to see if I actually liked it. I do love it. It's a really, really good foundation. All of Makeup Forever's foundations are gorgeous and they make your face look absolutely flawless. I have been loving my Pixel Party Proof Eyeliner. This is a like kind of like a felt tip pen liquid liner and usually I don't spend money on liquid liners because I'm like my holy grail liquid liner is my e.l.f. liquid liner and it's like a dollar. This one was about six dollars at Ulta but this one has definitely been really really good to me and it's super super easy to use. Um, 
a lot does come out at one time but it is super black and I think that's really important when looking for a black liquid liner is how black it is and if it stays on and this does not move. Another eyeliner and it is the one that I'm wearing on my lids today. This is the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Blue. It is so beautiful. We use this for our cheer comps. Just been absolutely loving blue liner lately. I don't know why, but I just think it like looks so flattering on people with like really deep brown eyes or hazel eyes. Blue liner is so in right now. I have definitely been loving this blue liquid liner. I think it goes with literally everything. If you want just a pop of color, you could pop this on either on the bottom or you could put it on the top and just do a small wing. You could do so many different things with this and I think that's why I like it. And you can't beat NYX's liners. I think NYX liners are really, really good. So a next little beauty favorite, I guess you can call it, is some glitters. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I do not do glitter anything. I just don't like dealing with the mess of glitter. But I'm trying to expand my creativity and expand my makeup skills. So I decided I needed to pick up some glitter. And especially for prom season, a lot of people like glitter on the eyes and just so many different reasons why I need to start working with glitter and trying to work with glitter. So I picked up the Sally Girl Sparkle FX Glitter and I picked up in literally every single color that they have. I have this really, really light pink with a little bit of white iridescent sparkles in it. I have this white pearl one, which is super gorgeous. I picked up a purple one that I've been loving. A pink one, it's like a fuchsia pink. A gold that is so pretty on the eyes. I played with it the other day and it's so gorgeous. Um, a deep blue. A mermaid teal color blue. A silver. And a like greenish yellowish color one. Uh, I have been loving these. Believe it or not, I absolutely love them. You can mix them. You can do so many different things with them. And I have been playing with them lately. So I'm definitely trying to expand myself. You guys absolutely know that I hate glitter. I hate dealing with it getting everywhere. So I'm trying to find different ways to incorporate this in looks. The great thing about these glitters is they're only a dollar. A dollar at the Sally Beauty Supply. And you can find them literally at any Sally's. You can find them online too. And they're only a dollar. And you get this jar. So I definitely think these are a great alternative to any like higher, like higher end glitters and stuff. Um, I decided I didn't want to spend any money on like really expensive like glitter pots or anything when I could just go to Sally's and pick up these for a dollar. It's always good to expand so I've definitely been loving all of these beautiful colors. So the next thing that I've been loving is a nail polish and this is the China Glaze Nail Polish in Shocking Pink. I actually have this on my nails right now but they are all messed up so don't look at those. This is such a beautiful hot pink summery color and this looks literally good on someone with a tan and I think that's why I like it. I don't care for pink nail polish like whatsoever but I love this color. It's so bright and it's so me. I love neon colors. I have been loving this and I've been wearing this for like three weeks straight and I definitely need to redo them like today so that's what I'm going to do after this video. I have been loving these shadow shields and these are actually a little bit new to me. I got them a couple weeks ago and I just started kind of playing with them and you know getting used to them. And these are just like little moon shaped like little shield like shields. Um, I used this in my last tutorial. You guys can check it out and see how I used it. But they have little stickies and you just like stick them underneath your eyes. It prevents from any fallout getting on your makeup if you do foundation first or it even just prevents it from stuff such as glitter so these two together are like heaven because I hate when glitter gets all over my face so I just put these on and I could pack on glitter whatever you want to do and what's also good about these is it helps sharpen like your makeup like you know how when you see people with really really sharp makeup lines they probably use something like this or something similar to it so I have been loving these for some makeup applications so I have been loving my Freeman facial clay mask and this one is in mint and lemon and then this one is in avocado and oatmeal and I have been super obsessed with these they are so 
refreshing on your face and I cannot get enough of them. I use them maybe twice a week or I try to at least and I just love this one. But these have been my go-to like clay mask. I usually just choose one. I switch off um, like every day. So I think I use this one before the week and then I use this one after the week just because my face has been through a lot and this one clears more breakups and this one kind of deep cleans. So I just switched them back and forth but I've definitely been loving these and these are only like four bucks at Ulta for a huge like tube of it. They're amazing. The scent that I've been loving is my Beautiful Day Fragrance Mist by Bath & Body Works. I use this every single day and I just love the smell of it. It smells so like summery and fresh and it smells like you literally just got out of the shower like every time you spray it on you and I spray this literally everywhere like everywhere like it's always on me this does wear off a little bit since it's just like a fragrance mist it's not really a perfume but I love it and I want a small one so I can keep it in my purse but I don't even know if they sell small ones do they but I really really love this stuff and it smells amazing and my favorite candle of April has been my lemon mint leaf candle and this smells like you just clean the house and Oh, it smells so good. This one's one actually my boyfriend picked out, which he never picks out candles because he doesn't really care. But um, he picked this one out and it smells amazing and props to him because it smells so good. This is one I've been burning for a while and I mean, I think everybody on YouTube is a Bath & Body Work like candle fiend. Like you have to have them. And what's so good about these is if you put it in one room of the house, it literally smells up the entire house. And I love Bath & Body Work candles, but this has been my favorite one for April. And my last thing is actually going to be an iPhone app or an iPad app. And this is Spotify. And I was not sure about getting this. I've seen that a lot of people use this type of radio thing and I decided to get it and just see what it was all about. So I've really been loving this for listening to music and everything. It has like so many different genres and moods you can go through. It has like radio, you can, just like a Pandora radio. It's pretty much like that. You can go by artist or song. And if you like a song or you add it to like your playlist or whatever, you can go back and like uh, play it. You can go back and play it on your own. And I think that's really, really cool because Pandora, you can't make a playlist and go back and play it. You have to like wait for your song to come back on. So if you like a song, definitely add it to a playlist and like it. So this has been one of my favorite apps lately for the month of April. All right, you guys, so that is it for my April favorites. It was a little difficult finding things that I haven't mentioned before for you guys, but I definitely think that I did pretty good with some new stuff that I've been trying out and everything. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see monthly favorites all the time consistently because I'm definitely going to try to keep doing this for you guys. I kind of fell off the little like monthly favorites train a long time ago, but I'm going to definitely hop back on and try to get these to you every single month. Don't forget to check out all of my links down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, everything, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not. Also, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite items were of the month of April. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!